Hey guys, it's Chris with Dev Coffee, and we're going to be programming a Discord bot today. Before we get started, make sure that you have Node.js and Discord downloaded, as well as having an active Discord account. Once that's done, we're ready to, ready to start programming. Let's get into it. All right, so the first step that we're going to be doing, if you haven't already, go ahead and make a server. I'm just going to create one. I'm going to call it Test Server and click Create. And then after that, we're going to be creating a text channel so we can use this. We have the general channel already, but the test channel will just be good for us to, you know, kind of separate it out. And now the next step is to go ahead and open up a Chrome tab. And we're going to be locating, there's going to be a link down below, but you can go ahead and type it in. It's discordapp.com slash developers. And there we go, slash application slash me. And if you're not already logged in through the web browser or, or, on, or on your desktop, it will go ahead and prompt you, but I'm already logged in. And you can see here, this is where you actually can create your bot. I already have one bot created, but let's go ahead and make a new bot called Dev Coffee. Dev Coffee Bot. There we go. And you're going to click Save Changes. Cool. So we just created our bot. And the next thing that we want to do is actually add our bot over to uh, make, make our bot active. So it says Build a Bot. Bring your app to life by adding a bot users. Let's go ahead and do that. Click add bot. This will prompt you. Yes, you do want to do this step. And it says a wild bot has appeared. So we have uh, created our bot. And more importantly, we have this token down here. Uh, this token will give us access to our bot through the uh, discord.js uh, library that we're going to be using here in a bit. Uh, just remember, do not share this token with anybody because whoever gets access to this token can do anything with their bot, with your bot. They can, you know, bring in the different channels or even just remove your bot from channels. So make sure that you keep this private, but I'm going to go ahead and reveal this since I'm going to change it later. And at any point you can click regenerate. Let's say someone does get your token. You can click regenerate and get that token later on. So I'm going to click copy and let's go over to our terminal and let's make a new directory and we'll call this dev coffee discord bot. You guys can call this whatever you want and let's go ahead and CD into that. Awesome. And now we're going to open it up inside of our text editor. Opening up a text editor. And the first step that we're going to be doing inside of here, let me go ahead and close these out, is making an index.js file. So go ahead and make a new file called index.js. And we'll go ahead and make a new constant variable called token and set this equal to that token that we just copied. Now, Ideally, you would want this in some type of environment variable so no one could get access to it. So let's say you pushed your code to GitHub. Uh, you don't want this to be publicly facing. Um, but for right now, since we're just testing, it's fine to have it in a variable over here. And go back over to our terminal, and we're actually going to initialize this with npm. So type in npm init dash y. This will create our package.json. And then we're going to do npm install discord.js dash dash save. Cool. That's the only package that we'll need right now. And we'll go ahead and import that in. So we'll do const, uh, const discord is equal to require discord.js. Perfect. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we actually don't have our bot inside of our server yet. We have to give it access. To do that, we have to go, there's going to be another link down in the description, but we're going to actually need another key here. So if we go to general information, we have this client ID. Go ahead and copy, copy the client ID that you have. And we're going to type in something real quick. Uh, again, you guys probably don't need to type this in um, since I'm going to have the link down below, but I'll go ahead and do it. So you're going to type in uh, discordapp.com oauth2-authorize question mark and client client, if I can type, ID is equal to what we just copied. Then we're going to do and scope is equal to bot and permissions is equal to eight. And this will bring you to a screen that looks like this. And you can basically select the server that you want your bot to go in. Now, since we only have one server, we'll just go ahead and do test server. But if you had multiple, it would pull all of those servers up. And we do want to give it administrator rights, but if you didn't want to, you could uncheck this and then click authorize. And it will verify to make sure that you're not a bot. The person that's doing this is not a bot. And we can see here that we just got a notification saying that a wild dev coffee bot has appeared. 
and we can see in the right corner that our bot is here, but it's not online because we haven't run our bot or we haven't configured it yet. So let's go ahead and go back over to our uh, text editor. And we're going to start with instantiating a client instance. So go ahead and do const client is equal to new discord dot client and invoke that. So now we have a new uh, instance of our client. What we can do now is start defining some different events. Uh, there's a list of them online. And again, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, I think that the discord.js team did a great job of, of having all their documentation online, which is linked down below. But let's go ahead and do client.on. And the event that we're going to want to listen to is the ready event. This means, hey, our bot did successfully connect and it's ready to go. And down here, I think all we'll do is console.log. Uh, bot is now connected and this will just uh, log inside of our terminal and we'll have it actually have it log inside of our uh, inside of our chat here in a second but let's go ahead the last step is going to be client dot login and then we pass in that token variable that we previously defined okay and honestly guys this is the only steps to actually get your bot online and get it going so we're going to clear this out and type in node index.js We'll see here it says bot is now connected. Now if we go over to the Discord client, we'll see that our bot is now online. So it is fully functional and online, but you'll notice that it's not really doing anything in the chat. That's because we haven't defined any logic. Well, let's start with, I guess, getting it to uh, state a message in the test channel whenever it's connected. To do that, we're going to do client.channels this will actually be a list of all your channels. And we have two right now, which are uh, hashtag general and hashtag test. So we're gonna do channels. And then we're gonna want to specifically target the test channel. So to do that, we do find, and then a lambda function or a fat arrow function, if you will, x.name is equal to test. So pretty much it, it's gonna go and find our test channel. And what we can do now is go ahead and send, hello, I'm, I'm now connected. And if I go ahead and restart my application, we'll go ahead and see that our message did say, hello, I'm now connected. So we did have, that is now working. We have established connection and sent a message. But you might be saying, okay, how do we get it to actually interact with people that are inside of our chat? Well, it really is quite simple. We have another event that we can define, client.on message. In here message, uh, the second parameter is a callback function, which does pass parameter uh, message. And what we can do is we can check, and let's go ahead and let's just do this. I'm gonna go ahead and just log the message object. And I'm gonna go ahead and comment this out because it will log it out. I wanna show that if we do type a message, we can fire off that event. So we'll go ahead and save this and I commented out line 13. Go ahead and restart it real quick and type in node index.js. And I'll just type in something into our chat. Hello. And if I go over to our terminal, we can see here we get this giant object right here. And this is the object about all of our message, including the channel. You can see that we have channel, we have ID, we have the name of the channel, which is test, parent ID, a lot of different useful things that you could probably dig down and see but we have access to this content. This is the actual message that was sent and we can see that I sent hello. So what we can do now is come over here and let's write an if statement. Message.content is equal to at test. Let's go ahead and since we do have access and if I go back over here, we have access to this author property which can get the username. So if I want to just do this, I can go ahead and do message.channel and this will target the current channel that the message was sent in. And I can do send and we'll do a string literal right here. Hello. And we'll do message dot author. And this will actually spit out the name of the person who said hello or it said at or yeah, that said exclamation mark test. Again, once again, restart the server. Probably need Nomon. Nomon helps speed up the development and restart the server, but we don't have time to configure that. Um, so I'll go over here and I say at test and we'll see that the bot did respond to me and say, hello at it's Tex-Mex. 
So we actually are communicating with the bot and you can see if I type in anything else, it's not going to trigger unless I do that at or that exclamation mark test. Cool. So now you guys can kind of see some of the functionality that this has. Um, but you can see here that this really isn't giving me any, anything. You know, I'm just saying test and it's, it's logging the username. Let's go ahead and make a new one. And we'll go ahead and say at dev coffee. And let's say if somebody says at dev coffee, it will link them to my YouTube channel. And I actually have a link of my YouTube channel right here. Again, if you guys haven't already subscribed, subscribe. I know it's like a shameless plug right there, but I'm down to do that. We'll do message.channel.send. And we'll just pass in that YouTube channel. And once again, we'll restart our server. Go back to our Discord client and type in at dev or exclamation mark. I'm, I'm getting so used to saying at, I don't know why. Exclamation mark dev coffee. And as we can see there, it actually did um, parse my YouTube channel. It'll show a little thumbnail, the name of my YouTube channel. And this channel is ran by a complete maniac, which I am. I self-proclaimed self maniac um so cool we, we have pretty much basic functionality here so you guys could start programming different apps or different things with your bot because with just these small commands um i can sh also show you you might see you know these messages might not be as structured as you want well we have access to this other class method and let me go ahead and copy this this is again uh, i have this on github if you guys are interested in looking at some of the examples and I can go over here and let me go ahead and just do if content equals pretty message, then go ahead and do this. And I have a few different things here. Don't get overwhelmed. Uh, it's really quite simple. What we have access to is this rich embedded. And this will actually make it to where we can make really nicely structured uh, messages that look really cool. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and comment this out. We'll just start with using the title and description field. Let me go ahead and indent that one more time. Save this and restart once again. Unexpected token. That's because I accidentally put a dot there. Node index.js. I'll go back over here and do at exclamation mark pretty message I, I swear i'm going to get it one day guys and we'll see here that it does have a color because we define the color using uh this uh property right here and you can make this color anything that you want let's say like if someone got banned you can basically put their username and the description we have the title and the description field right there we also have some other uh cool fields Let's say you wanted to structure something a little bit nicer and a little bit cleaner. You have access to this dot add field. And I go ahead and restart. This restarting is not getting annoying at all, right, guys? And I'll go ahead and do that again. And there we go. We have our different fields there as well. And for the final thing, we actually could set an author too. So let's say Tim Shank was the person that set, sent this message from the server or something, or maybe they clicked on a button on a front-facing uh, client app. Well, we could actually set the author. Go over here at pretty message. And there we go. We got, we got Tim Shank. I'm just going to start calling it at, you know, you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. So guys, to show you something that I just quickly made, I made this kind of bracket bot that, for, for instance, if I'm playing Fortnite or, or uh, Super Smash Brothers or something and I have all my friends in the channel, people can basically join the bracket and after a certain time period, it will mix up all the players that join the bracket and add the appropriate buy rounds. And let's say that we had 15 people, well, it would bump it up to 16 with a buy round and calculate all of that stuff. And you guys can see the code over on GitHub. But this is something that I, I actually am probably going to use with my buddies. Uh, it's something that we were talking about doing, and, and I did it a little bit. So if you guys want to copy this code and, and make your own app with it or add on to it, I, feel free to do that. But to just show you guys how it works, uh, I'll come over here to the channel. I can hit exclamation mark join. And it'll go ahead and say, it uh, it's Tex-Mex has just joined the bracket. Good luck. And then I can do start. And again, I have a time uh, looper, but for right now, for the demonstration uh, exclamation mark start will start the bracket and as we can see there's three other people there's Jonathan Ryan and Tim 
in order to uh, pronounce the winner, a admin can go over here and do exclamation mark winner. It's Tex-Mex and you can see it'll update the bracket. So it says that I won. Then we'll say Ryan won the next round and it'll go on to the next round. Winner is, of course it's me. It's gotta be me. There we go. And it'll say that I'm the winner. So guys, thank you so much uh, for watching. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming along and I know that uh, I've been on a hiatus, but I'm hoping to really get back into it and I appreciate y'all's support. If you guys want to, follow me on Instagram, Twitter for any updates as well as subscribe. You guys, really, really just slam that subscribe button. You don't have to hit the bell. The bell is a little excessive. Well, let's just hit that subscribe, just one step at a time. But thank you guys so much and there'll be another video coming in the next few days. Appreciate it and y'all have a good and pleasant week. Let's do it.